Deuteronomy 6, verses 6 through 8, where the Bible says, These commandments I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, when you walk along the road, when you lie down, when you get up. There's an intensity to the teaching. That word impress is a, is a Hebrew word that means to stick, to, to pierce, to penetrate. It reminds me of one of those penny machines, those penny stamping machines. You ever seen one of those when you're on vacation? Where you take a penny and you, you, sm you just smush it so that Lincoln's head gets turned into whatever it is, a moose or a... So, so parents, take your kids' heads and... Well, no, 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 no. Used to be, not too long ago, that the Bible was a prominent part of our culture in America. It was, Bible was taught in all the schools. Louisiana wants to start posting the Ten Commandments in the schools, and, and that's causing a brouhaha. We see there was a day, just a few decades ago, where every school had the Ten Commandments posted. And most everyone said, well, duh, that's a no-brainer. We want the Ten Commandments to be posted for our kids because it helps plant a seed in our children however small that seed is, that they are not a law unto themselves. That they can't do whatever they want. They can't treat people however they want to.